Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading for the month of August. Please only take what fits and leave the rest behind. If this is your story, comment below. And if not, you can always check my channel and your other zodiac placements for messages you need to hear. But as always, please remember to like this video, comment, share, and subscribe for future readings. So before we get started, Aries, a big thank you to my subscribers and members for all of your love and continued support of the channel. I love you guys. And if you are needing to book a personal reading with me, all of my details are below in the description box. And of course, I am running the summer sale, which means all of your personal readings are 50% off until August 31st. So I encourage those of you who need a reading to get booked up as soon as possible, as I do tend to get Kind of busy whenever I launch a sale. So anyways, Aries, let's get right into it. Remember, this is a general love reading, so reverse roles if necessary and only take what applies to you as obviously some of you watching could be the awesome crotch watcher of an Aries. So let's talk about it, okay? Let's see what spirit wants to reveal at this time um, and we'll be using the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle. So Okay, well, I guess we've just got a big old chunk of information. So let's get started. We got the Grim Reaper. Oh my gosh, coming in hot with the Grim Reaper. So the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So whether this is about you or your person or both of you, something is coming to an end here in August, okay? For those of you, if you're in a third party situation, it could be that coming to an end or some of you could be ending a relationship with someone because you're tired of giving out chances. You're tired of giving this person another opportunity to hurt you, okay? And again, I say hurt you, but this could be about you or your person, or both of you. So we've also got sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. All right, so now I'm getting a really creepy vibe, Aries. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you have a stalker. All right, I feel like you have someone who doesn't know how to take no for an answer. Um, someone who is possibly a narcissist, who is manipulative, Um and they're watching you, okay? And that could be the reason why you've decided to end this connection because you're tired of feeling like you're always being watched. You're tired of feeling like this person is hovering over you. Um, this reading is taking a turn, y'all. So just prepare yourselves. Buckle them damn seatbelts up. So you've got camera. Oh my gosh, sunglasses and camera. Like, come on now. This is giving the Joker in the original Batman movie vibes. Like, this person is stalking you, wearing a hat and a fucking trench coat and sunglasses and taking pictures possibly, okay? Wow. Am I going to continue with this reading? I think so. So it says, reminiscing keepsake perception, learn from the past and make memories. So... I do kind of feel that this is more about learning from the past. You know, again, if you've given this person a chance, if you have given them multiple chances, then I think this person doesn't know how to take no for an answer because you set that dynamic and pattern up for them, okay? Um, maybe you've had an opportunity to end this relationship before and you decided to give it another go. And by doing that, what you told this person was, that's okay, I don't need to put my boundaries up for you and I forgive you and it's okay for you to do the same things you did before okay now again this could be what's going on with your person so keep that in mind but I'm getting the creepy vibes here someone is watching you someone is stalking you let's get one more card let's clarify this We also have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So obviously this carries the energy of the tower. So this reading itself could be acting as that shocking information for you or news. You know, maybe you thought that this person was out of your life. Maybe you thought that you had taken care of the issue, but spirits telling you, it's not as taken care of as you might have thought, all right? There's definitely, if it's not you that someone is stalking, then this is happening to your person, okay? So um, 
so yeah, and you know what's so crazy? I don't even know if there's a song out there like this or there's a cover of this song, but I'm hearing, and maybe it's just me like gearing up for spooky season, y'all, but I'm hearing an eerie, creepy version of You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you Like this person is obsessed whoever they are they can't take their eyes off of you they're watching you intently okay like you're some netflix show okay and they're binging your ass this person needs help okay i'm just gonna say it so let's get into the reading let's talk about your person okay i really hope that this is happening to your person and not you <laughs> because it's always very scary when um when that happens right it's it's very very scary uh, when you learn that there's somebody out there who is taking an interest in you that you do not care for. So anyways, Aries, let's get deeper into this reading. Let's talk about the person that you're connecting with um, and find out what the history is here. What's the present energy between you and this person? Oh man, like I always say, this is not the reading we asked for, <laughs> but it's the reading we have got. So get a clarity card for the present let's also get one for the history let's find out what this person is thinking and feeling about you anyway okay and then let's ask what is the predicted outcome for the end of august all right Let's go. So Aries, the underlying energy, and you may be connected with a Pisces because this is the same card that they got in this position, the Seven of Cups, okay? And it's called the Edit. You can see here, she's cutting the film with scissors, and obviously the Seven of Cups is, for me, like a massive Venus retrograde vibe, bringing a lot of smoke and mirrors, confusion, delusion, overwhelming energy energy um and this could be like a twisted dream or fantasy vibe that we're getting here from this person so i do think that whoever this is that we're tapping into they are fantasizing about you okay possibly dreaming about you the fact that it says the edit makes me think that this person is a little bit delusional in thinking that they can go back and maybe change the past with you or fix things with you um Yikes, Aries. Very aggressive. So, so yeah, I think that this person could be a little bit Delulu. Um, and even going even further than that, Aries, we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. So this could be like a false twin flame or someone who you are no longer married or connected to, no longer committed to. Um, the Four of Wands can even symbolize unhappiness in the reverse or not being able to reach what you're trying to accomplish. So this person could even be under the impression that you and them are like meant to be. But I think Spirit is confirming that that's really not the case, okay? Um, it's, it's not the case. I think this is more of their fantasy, what they want to happen here. Now, uh, the history, we've got the Knight of Roses, a.k.a. the Front Runner or the Knight of Wands. So, obviously, this person is very impulsive. They probably are the type that pursued you passionately, okay? Very brave, action taker, uh, goal-oriented, but again, impulsive. Um, the Knight of Wands does things like that because they're afraid that they're not going to get what they want. And also there's a fear of the Knight of Wands involving fear of commitment. But I see this more so as this person making it their business to be the front runner in your life. They want to win the race. They want to win you, okay? 
to clarify that we have the ace of wands first impression rose so maybe that was your first impression of this person like charismatic brave spicy someone who's taking action someone pursuing you it's all about the passion the sex the excitement and opportunity for a passionate new beginning okay so again this could be how things appeared in the past um and that could be why if like i said what i said was right about you giving this person more chances than they deserve that's probably the reason you did because this person was a shower okay um they're a shower not a grower <laughs> and I don't mean that in sexual terms I think this person could be a little bit of a show-off um and kind of aggressive as well and uh, they might be lacking on spiritual growth okay so hopefully you're picking up what I was trying to say there although that could be very realistic obviously in the physical for those of you who have been sexual with this person but uh but yeah five of roses in the present competition struggle fighting anger aggression um you know this even could signify third party energy so this person could have definitely showed up in your life all charismatic and and all that stuff but on the behind the scenes, this person could have been keeping others on the side. Okay, that's just my honest opinion here. Um, that could be revealed in the present as it's coming up in the present space. And to clarify that, we have the Nine of Rings influencer. So obviously, Nine of Pentacles signifies someone who is single, independent, somebody who doesn't need anybody for anything, someone who is a hard worker and who provides for themselves, who builds a solid foundation without the help of anyone else. Now, these two cards together... I feel like spirit is saying that right now this person might be single um, and they could be struggling over the thought of losing you, right? Um, this could be your energy as well, deciding to stay single and remove yourself from the toxicity and the uh, the fighting that perhaps was happening between the two of you. So I say nine of pentacles is way better <laughs> than being in a toxic relationship dynamic, hands down. So uh, especially with Venus retrograde Aries, I mean, it's been an aggressive retrograde and people are revealing themselves left and mother freaking right. So I think for those of you out there who are single and enjoying yourselves, I think that this person hates that. They're struggling with the thought that you don't want them, okay? Now their thoughts towards you is the two of wands, the date card. So they definitely want to take you out. They want to come towards you. They want to plan for the future. Um, and they also possibly want to travel to come see you, but... This is what they're thinking of. They're thinking about asking you out, trying to get you to date them again. Um, and in their heart, we've got hmm, we've got the sun card, okay? So in their heart, they feel like you are their happiness. You make them happy. They feel like, like they're in paradise when they're with you. They know that you are that cool cocktail on the side of the beach that they crave. They want to be on vacation with you all the time. They want you, okay? They know that your energy is warm, that you are caring, that you are positive, that you're optimistic. And I feel like this person wants to feed off of that light, off of that energy that you have, all right? And I'm just being honest. So again, the sun is like a divine masculine energy. So this person could definitely feel in their heart like they're supposed to pursue you all right that they're supposed to have you that they're supposed to be with you and then for the outcome we've got the ten of wands a shoulder to cry on so I'm gonna need a clarity card for this because this is a, a card of burden and a lot of weight on one's shoulders so this could be spirit telling you that this person is essentially a burden on you that the fact is is that they could even potentially be very manipulative in that way where they might come to you upset or crying needing someone to talk to under the impression that they just need a friend 
Um, but it's a false pretense is what I'm hearing. Okay. And I know that that's a lot to get from the 10 of wands, <laughs> but that's what I'm getting. Okay. So beware of this person trying to come in, um, and you know, get back in your good graces by being emotional with you or by crying to you being vulnerable because sometimes people do that because they know that's what you want to hear. They think that that's the way to solve things. And to me, that's very emotionally manipulative. Okay, so to clarify that we have the moon. So we went back a step from the sun. I feel like overall this person has very deep feelings for you. Um, but again, I think that there's going to be some sort of secret revealed about this person or their true colors will come to light. Um, I think that there's a fear that this person has of losing you. And I think also speaking of fear, there's something about this person that actually scares you. And again, if they're exhibiting traits of like stalking and, you know, still trying to be overly interested in you after things have already come to an end, then that is what we're going to find by the end of August, that this person has been holding on to their feelings for you, that they love you, they care about you, they want to be with you and that is why they're they're acting the way that they are they're acting obsessive they're not able to let go of you um and you know what i think that this person doesn't have anyone to, but to themselves to blame sorry i'm getting tongue-tied they don't have anyone but themselves to blame we saw the past energy of the knight of wands of the ace of wands seems to me like this person was pursuing you for sexual reasons and then over time things changed because i think you were tired of that back and forth or worrying that there was something someone else involved that you decided to cut ties with this person and remain single okay so Aries you're doing the right thing I feel that in my heart um, and yes this person may come back around with a sob story telling you how burdensome their life is without you how deeply they feel for you um, you know that they dream of you that they love you they they want to you know, sweep you away on the wind like Cal gone and dance the night away, they are going to come to you with that story, okay? And when they do, I urge you to use your discernment, right? You cut this person off for a reason and you should stick to those boundaries, especially within Venus retrograde. So, and to go even deeper, you guys, I'm talking about how this person's going to come back around with a story. We've got the Knight of Rings. So they may very well come through, acting like they're dedicated, they're loyal, they want to put the work into this relationship in the physical. But again, it's knight energy. It's not king energy. It's not emperor energy. It's a knight. So underneath the knight of rings is fear, just like the knight of wands, fear of commitment, fear of investing in something and things going wrong. And as you can see from the picture, we've got the swan and then a regular ass duck, okay? So we know swans represent soulmates, counterparts, twin flames. So it's like this person, they see you as this swan, but they're gonna be showing up as a duck, all right? The late bloomer. So um, I think really whatever happens here, whatever transpires for you in August, I think that's gonna be the thing that's made clear to you at the end of the day. Yeah, maybe this person is showing up and saying all the right things, doing all the right things, but deep down you know this is not really your person, okay? So hopefully that resonated. Again, it was kind of harsh in comparison to what I was expecting, but Pisces reading was kind of like that too. So if you have any Pisces placements or you're dealing with the Pisces, I urge you to check out that reading as well. Let's move into the messages, okay? Even though I'm not sure I want to know what this person has to say, but you might want to be prepared. So what is this person wanting to say to you at this time? I know y'all can probably sense when I'm getting annoyed <laughs> with the fictional characters in these damn stories. <laughs> and I hop up into protective mode. Um, so we've got this time apart has made me more attached to you. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> clearly, clearly this person is way overly attached. We also have me and you will be together again. Reet, 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 reet. Like... <laughs> Yo, I don't know why I'm getting such creepy vibes, but that's what I'm feeling, okay? This person is dead set on being a part of your life again. I regret hurting you, and that is why. That is the why. They know they hurt you. They know they possibly put you in a third-party energy or confuse you or were aggressive with you, whatever the specific thing was and why you cut them off. They know that. They regret it. 
all right? Um, there's no one like you. So, yeah, I mean, duh. <laughs> obviously, if there was, I don't think they would be so attached, right? This person obviously hasn't ever heard of there are plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> Uh, what else does this person have to say? I gotta say, this was not the lovey-dovey reading I thought it was gonna be, but it's actually quite entertaining, so hopefully you guys are appreciating all the tea. I don't desire anyone the way I desire you. Mm, okay. So, I mean, yeah, like, we saw the Ace of Wands. We know that the desire is there. The sexual energy is there. I can't see myself letting you go. Oh my God, you guys, even the messages are coinciding with the messages. And then finally, I've been lurking your Instagram a lot. We're done here. All right, Aries, this person is straight up stalking you and they do not know how to let go. That's it. That's all I got for you today. So hopefully that resonated with you. Y'all protect your energy, okay? Be aware of your surroundings, okay? Um, other than that, Aries, I love you guys. Enjoy the rest of Leo season and stay tuned for all of the, the readings that will be posted through the next couple of weeks, your new moon, your mid-month messages, your shorts, and all of that jazz. So other than that, I love you guys and I will see you then. Bye.